Hi everyone, Miss Terry here. We're gonna work on some letter formation today. And since this week is A week, we're gonna start with the letter A. We're going to need today our um, letter A that we're gonna build with our sticks. And we'll also need the sticks to go with it. Then we're going to need the um, Play-Doh um, letter A, the um, mold, not really the mold, I suppose the, the paper that we're going to use to build our A on with Play-Doh. So you'll need this and some Play-Doh. My Play-Doh is blue. The Play-Doh in your bag may be a different color, but mine is blue today. Alrighty, we're going to start by checking out our sticks. I have a rubber band around my sticks. I'm going to start by taking that off. You'll probably want mom or dad to either help you or do this for you. It's on there pretty tight. It feels really tight. Okay, and now it's so loose. I've, I've loosened it. So now it's so loose, it falls right off. Okay, let's look at the different shapes we have in our wood pieces. So we have some sticks that are lines. We have a long line. Can also go this way. Long line. And we have a short line. Long and short. And then we have a big curve. This is a curve. So we have a big curve and we have a little curve. You're going to have more than one of each of the shapes and we'll need different amounts for each letter. Let's see what we need for the big letter A. For the big letter A, I need two long lines. Can you find two long lines? All right, we have our two long lines. And now you're going to need one short line. Go ahead and find that too. You're gonna notice that there is a smiley face at the very top of the paper. And that smiley face is there to remind us that we always start our letters at the top. We're gonna start with our long lines. I'm gonna put my first long line down on the paper to make my letter A. Can you see if you can do that? Now I'm, well, I found, I already got a hold of my other long line. I'm gonna need two long lines to make my A. This is the second one. I need both long lines to make my A. I'm gonna put my second line on. Now I have two long lines on my page. Okay, we're ready for the last one. One short line. Can you find your one short line? Okay, I put it on. Now I made my letter A. Can you see that? There it is. All right, now it's time to try one out of Play-Doh. You'll need this page. So this one's gonna be a little bit tricky. We're gonna have to start, maybe I'm gonna put this one up here for now. We have to start by rolling the Play-Doh to make some Play-Doh snakes. We're gonna need two long ones and one short one. I'm going to start with the short one. 
So I'm going to get just a little bit of Play-Doh, about that much. And I'm going to roll it into a ball in my hands, in the palms of my hand. Mom or dad or somebody else in your house might need to help you do this at first. It might take you a while to learn how to do this on your own, but moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and sisters and brothers and other people that take care of us that are bigger than us, they're pretty good at helping us out until we learn how. So you're going to rub it in the palms of your hands. These are the palms of your hands. You're gonna rub it in there and make a ball, just like that. Do you see the, do you see the ball, my Play-Doh ball? Now we're gonna set that on the tray or on the table if you're just working on your, at your table. And you're gonna roll it with the palm of your hand. Watch this. I'm gonna roll it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until I have a short line. That's pretty good. Here's my short line. I can turn it this way or this way. Okay, I'm gonna leave that over here. Now we're gonna do two long lines. It's time to do the long lines. So I need a little bit more Play-Doh this time. I'm gonna start with this much and see how that works. I'm gonna make my ball, roll it in the palms of my hands, just like that. And then I'm gonna roll it out, roll it out, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and forth and it's okay if it gets too long if it gets too long I'm just gonna take some off the end it'll be okay but I can kind of move my hand around to make sure all the parts of it get long and thin <laughs> all right there we go oh look how long it is okay I think I made it a little too long. I did. So I'm going to take just a little bit off the end. That looks about right. Here's my long line. All right. And this one, that'll go in the middle. Okay. Now I need another ball. Okay. Here I go. I'm going to roll another one. Roll, 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 and there it is. Now I'm gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Mm. There we go. Uh-oh, it didn't stick together really well. Back and forth, back and forth, till they're about the same size about the same size. There we go. Now they're about the same size. Two long lines and one short line. All right, let's give it a try. All righty, first I'm going to do a long line and then another long line and I'm going to squeeze them together at the top a little so they stick together. And then I'm going to put my short line in the middle. It looks a little bit too long. I'm going to take a little bit off the end. Okay. And I'm going to stick it in there. I did it. I made a big A. That was fun. The next time we do this job, we'll be doing the next letter in the alphabet next week. That'll be the letter B. But for now, we're done forming our letter A's for this week. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.